What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com doing 2019 Panini Legacy Football. It's a six-box half inner case break number three, two random teams each. And we're also going to be giving away Father's Day packs. So at the end of the break, take the list of customer names who join, randomize them, and the top name will win five Panini Father's Day packs ship sealed. So there you go. A little extra treat right there. So two random teams per spot. So double up your names, dice roller. Started with Christopher, all the way down to Eric, last spot, Mojo, and of course Cardinals down to the Redskins. Let's roll it. Four and a two, we got six times, good luck, six times on the list of names and the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six times. You got David Bruins at the top. Down to Paul. Here we go. Paste it right there. Then we got <clears throat> six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And final time. Six times. Giants. Down to the Chiefs. Right, that was a six. That was a six. And this was a six. Alright, so David, you got the Giants. Christopher with the Colts. Kyle, you got the Bengals. Eric, you have the Bucks. Scott Cooper with the Falcons, Patriots, and Dolphins. Eric Lasbamoji, you got the Ravens. Christopher with the Packers. Ed, you got the Panthers. David Bruins with the Steelers. Sergio, you got the Bears. Richard with the Lions. Scott with the Broncos. Mark with the Jets. Paul, you have the Redskins. Mark with the Bills. Michael Gallucci, you have the Cardinals. Richard with the Saints. Sergio, you have the Rams. Scott with the Seahawks and Titans. Kyle, you have the Cowboys. Sergio with the Eagles and Browns. Ed, you have the Chargers. Scott Cooper with the 49ers. Eric with the Jaguars. Michael Gallucci, you have the Raiders. Eric Glass by Mojo Vikings. Uh, Scott with the Texans and Paul with the Chiefs. So I'm going to alphabetize this. And I'll give you guys a quick minute or so if you guys want to make any trades. If anybody is here is watching that is part of this break. Eric is saying, Scott, would you trade for the Pats? So I'm not sure if Scott, if you're here, man, let me know if you are. David Brun saying Giants for 49ers. So 49ers are uh, Scott as well. So Scott, you got a couple of trade offers. I'll give it another 30, 40 seconds just in case Scott's may be coming in. Richard saying Saints for trade. Yeah, I don't think he's here either, Eric. But I like to give it a little time, just in case. I'll give it another 20 seconds. Well, wow, Matthew Shane's going to be signing with the Predators. How crazy is that for hockey, too? Woo! Panarin's going to get some money. Supposedly offered $12 million, which it's funny. In hockey, that's a lot of money, but <laughs> not in the NBA, I guess, right? All right, trade window closed, guys. Sorry about that. Think about it. $12 million a year is, like, big time in NHL, and then you're getting, like, what, $41 million in the NBA? <laughs> it's crazy. I know they make a lot more money, but still. 
Alrighty guys, so I do have the legacy checklist right here. Here's the list: Eric Last Ball Mojo with the Ravens, as well as the Minnesota Vikings. Down to Paul with the Redskins. So there you go. Here is the case, 12 box inner case. So let's quickly open it up, and just as I do it on eBay. We'll do it here as well. We'll go left or right. Which six boxes we'll be doing for this break. All right, so we got three here, three in the back. That's going to make the 12. All right. You guys can see that. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna quickly do is use one of uh, the dies we have here. If I uh, roll a one, two, or three, we're gonna go with the left side. Four, five, six, right side. So you ready? Two, so one, two, three, we're gonna go with this side. These six boxes will be for our next break of Legacy, which is number four. And I also believe Gavin got a spot already in number four. I think there already is a couple of spots already taken in number four as well. So I don't know. I guess depending on what comes out of here, maybe we can get the next Legacy break rolling. All right. All right. Here you go, guys. Good luck. Two autographs per box. So once I get done with this, guys, uh, we could run back into the Legacy. I know some people got spots in Museum. Chronicles is the next closest break, guys. Uh, all teams are already sold out. All there is to fill up is the Dallas Mavericks spot random. Now, again, uh, it's still pretty early, I think, on my end. It's only, what, 741 Pacific, so... East Coast time, it's not too late. It's only about to be 11. So, there's still plenty of time to get that Chronicles done tonight. Trifecta, I think, is pretty much close to single digits, if not already in single digits as well. We do some Trifecta. I know people talked about the... Ho uh, sorry, for hockey and soccer, actually. Immaculate Soccer, I think, is down to four. We could do a Soccer one-boxer. Cup Hockey one-boxer is down to seven. There's... Definitely some plenty, definitely some good options out there for the rest of the night. But again, if for some reason it dies down after this or after Chronicles, whatever we do next, I will be back tomorrow again. So if nothing fills today for the rest of the night, then again tomorrow we'll be able to fill some more breaks. And I'll probably be on a little earlier tomorrow, maybe around 3.30 or 4. So we'll see what we can get done. All right, your first box. Good luck. All right, and right at the top, autograph, Deontay Thompson out of Alabama. All right, let's quickly look that up. I got that open right here. That's Cardinals. Cardinals. Yeah, we would chat with me, Gavin. I'm here to chat. What's on your mind with free agent frenzy today? Do you like the move so far? Jimmy Butler to Miami. What's what's up with that? I mean, was it just the money? DJ Moore to fifty. Was it just living in Miami? I mean, I guess it's not. 
horrible to live in Florida and Miami. But if we want to talk about football, football's just around the corner, guys. 11 weeks away. Von Miller to 100. Loving the Sixers moves at the moment. What, re-signing Tobias Harris? Who else did they do? They got somebody else too, right? Wesley Walls. Yeah, Tobias is not that old, right? Or you mean you mean he's because he's not old, right? I don't I don't believe he's super old. I think that is his age, right? Or you mean that's how many he got a millions? Oh, that's right. They did get a Horford. You're right. You're right. Personally, I think Jimmy wanted more of a, I'm a role guy, and the Sixers didn't want to give him the five year deal because he's older. Yeah. Timeless talents, uh, Jim Kelly to 50. How about though? I mean, I, I guess it wasn't a shocker, right? Kyrie and KD have been linked for the last year, but linked with the Knicks, not with the Nets. But I guess once they, once Kyrie signed with Rock Nation, I think that kind of gave it away. To 165, Dal uh, Delvin Cook. Oh man, if I were Knicks fan, I'm just you just. You, you didn't get Zion. <laughs> you didn't get any free agents. I mean, you got Julius Randle, I guess. Which, I guess you did get a mini Zion. Um, out of 10, Troy Aikman. That's pretty nice. I know, Stephen A. Spike Lee, probably, too. I mean, that sucks. And look at that. We got a Daniel Jones. Ooh, that's nice. Three-color patch and the ink. Very nice. Daniel Jones. Well, I don't think I really need to look that up, but I guess for some reason if my mind is blanking, that should be Giants. And yes, Giants. So who has the Giants? That is David Brooms. I think David, was, were you trying to trade the Giants? Yeah, Giants for 49ers. Look at that. Tried to trade, but couldn't trade Mojo. Went your way. Nice. The future for the Giants, it looks like. Nice. All right. Oh, that's right. I I seen that. I seen that. They were like, uh, they're gonna sign Stephen A to a four year max. And it's like him just shooting like a three pointer or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I seen that. I seen some really funny ones where. What was really funny, Gavin, is I, I'm a big Twitter guy. I I love Twitter. I mean, I've liked it since I've remember joining back in like 2008 or 2009. Back in high school. I mean, I think it's been around much longer, but once it got really popular, but. Twitter's just so hilarious. Like, I've seen another one where, obviously, I think most of you guys know what memes are. Spongebob memes, especially. I've seen the one where, um, I never forget the Spongebob episode, because I used to actually like Spongebob when I was a kid, too, but it's like when he misses out on all of his friends, and he's like, ah, who needs him? And then he, like, draws, Spongebob draws on his fingers, and then they crop in, you know, KD, Zion, and... Tyrene, he's like, the gang's all here. <laughs> and then SpongeBob's all just crying. Uh, it was hilarious. It's just like, people have no heart on, on, on Twitter. It's just hilarious. It's just funny, though. Yeah, Arthur Fist, that's another one that's pretty popular, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're just going in on the mix now. All right, next box, guys. The one thing to me is that I really don't know what direction Kawhi Leonard is going for. Like, I know he wants to play in hometown, you know, here in L.A. 
Earlier, it's like he's linked to the Lakers, right? Then it's like, no, he's going to go to the Clippers. And then some people are like, no, he's actually going to resign with Toronto. It's like, well, where are you going, bro? Montez Sweat. Actually, Gavin, you know what? Um, neither, really. I, I'm a really big LeBron James fan, though. Um, but when I was a kid, my sister, like, loved the Lakers, my older sister. And it was so annoying, like, how much she loved them. Especially, I mean, she went to a couple of finals games. Like, you know, she's a true Laker fan. Well, she's more Kobe fan, but Montez Sweat Redskins. So they go Redskins. But, um, yeah, I, I think I grew up, like, not liking them just because of her. <laughs> So what I did is I, I remember one time watching a basketball game with her when I was a kid and seeing like Gary Payton, you know, Ray Allen in a Sonics uniform. So actually I became like a Sonics fan just because of that. And then kind of just stuck with them even though they moved to OKC. So it did break my heart a couple years ago when KD actually left. So so yeah, I just kind of kind of just stuck with Seattle and still OKC. Yeah, I heard, yeah, Seattle needs a basketball team again, yeah. So besides, like, baseball, hockey, stuff like that, I'm not all over the map, but kind of. My my sports team origins is kind of just more of a story. <laughs> or how I got to like them when I was a kid and I just stuck with them. Same thing with my Philadelphia Eagles. My uh, nephew's son, my uh, ex-brother-in-law. Big Eagles fan like Randall Cunningham in the 80s and 90s, so kind of just watch football with him. Stayed an Eagles fan to this day and forever. Aaron Rodgers to 50. But other than that, like football, I mean, sorry, basketball, hockey, pretty much here in LA only. That's right, fly, Eagles fly. So, yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a bandwagon fan, not one bit. <laughs> I'm actually going to go out to my first Philly Eagles game this year. I bought tickets to go see the New York Jets when the season tickets, or when tickets went on sale. Nick Chubb. So, I've seen the Eagles play about four or five times when they've come to California, but never in uh, Philadelphia, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right. All right, we got Lee Jordan. Little Jordan Humphrey. Going to the link. Yes. I've been to Philadelphia before. When uh, the National was in Atlantic City a couple years ago. We stopped by Philly because we flew out of there. And, I mean, it was a dream come true, right? <laughs> Seeing the link. But it was like in uh, July, so no football around. But never been to an Eagles game in Philadelphia. So I'm looking forward to that. Out of 10, we got Preston Williams. Quickly just looked that up. Preston Williams, that'll be Dolphins. And I guess I'll just look up this other guy. Saints. So Saints is Lil Jordan Humphrey. And Preston, what did I say that was again? Dolphins. So it's Dolphins and Saints. Oh, I, I bet. I mean, I don't know. I've I've been to an Eagles game in Dallas actually a couple years ago and I wore my Eagles jersey. <laughs> I mean, I'm not afraid. I, I'm not a, I'm not one of those guys to be rowdy, you know, kind of be like that, you know. So, kind of just I cheer when when they score, or do a big play, but you know, other teams score, I ain't talking smack or just kind of just stay quiet. Like, all right, let's let's go back up. Not our turn. So I've never really had any problems. And. Rodney Anderson. I'm sure they would. I mean, I got heckled a lot in Dallas, but nothing I couldn't handle, you know? And Eagles ended up winning that game, so 
It was even better for me. Rodney Anderson. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I feel like I'm going to be with my people, right? Bengals. I went to both Eagles games that year they won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Seen uh, Carson Wentz's injury here, and out, here against the Rams as well. Went to the Chargers game and the Rams game. It's really fun. Eagles fans are kind of, you know, like Cowboy fans and stuff like that. They all travel very well, so. I mean, I remember the Coliseum, 100,000 plus people just filled with green. Like, it was crazy. But yeah, pretty excited about that. I'm actually, you know what, guys, I'm really excited about, since we are doing a football break. Um, I'm really excited about Hard Knocks. I don't, I don't know. That's one, fo that's one show, you know, or I guess, yeah, show, documentary, whatever it is. If you would want to call it. It's, I, I love Hard Knocks. Like, I just love the aspect of everything about it. From the coaching meeting rooms, you know, to following a couple players. Like, I, I'm really excited at being actually the Raiders. I know Joe might be more excited than I am, but I'm just, I'm just like, man. Seeing John Gruden and Antonio Brown, it's, it's great. Can't wait for hard knocks. I know it could be a distraction for a lot of teams, especially when you're the team being filmed, but it must be so fun, though. Yeah, I'm hoping once is back to being fully healthy. I think this is the first time he'll be heading into training camp kind of healthy. I mean, I, besides his rookie year, because I remember his rookie year, he wasn't going to be the starter. Right? Injured his ribs. Week one in preseason. Then, obviously, healed up, became the starter. Played throughout the season. And then obviously his second year, MVP type season, and gets injured. Last year, missed a couple games. Start the season, came back, was healthy, then a little backbone injury. So I think right now he's definitely going to be pretty healthy going into his second se uh, third season. Or fourth season, sorry, now. Crab fries. I've never tried that before. Philip Lindsay? I think Dallas Guard is going to have a really big breakout year, too. I, I'm with you there. I really think so, too. To 25, or sorry, to 35, John Elway. And it's so crazy to say that because then you also have Zach Kurtz still there. Yeah. Or it's like, what? Then you have Deshaun Jackson back, which, I mean, I can whoop out my old Deshaun Jackson jersey I never threw away. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Gronkowski. Old Bay. What is Is that an older player? Is that a place? Something to do with Philadelphia, I'm assuming? I probably don't know, Gavin. Should I know? My horrible Eagles fan for not knowing that? <laughs> Oh, the season. No, I, I don't know what that is. Sorry. I'm over here just looking more dumb. Ooh, Nick Bosa? Nice. Autograph Nick Bosa. It's going to be 49ers. Scott Cooper. Oh, okay. And where could I find those? That app, it's called. Is it called Maryland? What's a good place to go try out? I mean, besides, obviously, I've. I mean, I've went to Pat's and Gino's, and I've actually tried gyms before. Is there anything else that I I could uh you could recommend to try besides those? I mean, that'd be awesome. I'm actually taking my mom. She's retiring this year. You know, after over 30 years at the post office. And, uh, I mean, she's an Eagles fan, too, just because of me, but um, she got me those tickets for my birthday against the Rams a couple years ago, so this is kind of her retirement gift for, for me to her. So I bought her Eagles ticket, Nick Bosa, to 100, so she's going to go, and I'm going to take her down to Atlantic City since she loves to gamble. So my wife, my mom, and then my sister, so it should be fun. 
What's up, Rex? What's going on, buddy? Oh, is that just stadium food? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, I'll get to the stadium then. We got Paris Campbell. Parrish Campbell. Why do I keep on saying Paris? To 35? Well, she doesn't work in this post office, Rex. <laughs> she, works a, she works in a totally different city. But she knows the struggle, though. That's for sure. Although, she's had a pretty sweet route for a very long time. She kind of just does businesses more than anything. Like liquor stores and stuff like that. Warehouses, so. But I guess we would be considered a business too, right? <laughs> but no, she's uh, she, she working there for a very long time. Alright, so Colts for that Parish Paris, or Campbell, sorry. Would be nice for her to deliver here. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Joe Montana. We got Eli Manning, 15 of 35. Water. <laughs> That's what they say for water. Let's kiss. Juju Smith. All right, guys. Well, like I was telling people earlier, I mean, trifecta could be a break we can do. A Mac of the soccer can be a break we can do. Cup hockey could be a break that we could do. If you're thinking of a bigger group break, Chronicles is already sold out with the team random already sold out as well. Only thing holding up that break is 16 spots in that Dallas Maverick spot random, and we're down to nine, so we're almost halfway there. So after this. I don't have any other breaks to br pop open. So what, what direction we're going to go towards tonight? I think Chronicles would be nice to fill up tonight. It's only 11 o'clock in the East Coast. 8 o'clock here. Central, what is it? 10 o'clock? Still rather early. But again, I'm back tomorrow as well. So people kind of die down on Sunday. I'll be back again on Monday. And then Joe's back on Tuesday. And like I said, we're seven days a week now, guys. So, you know, breaks won't have to sit for a couple days. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, I've stopped at a Wawa before. It's actually really cool. My, so, Bossman Mike and Nick. Well, Bossman Mike actually kind of grew up in Philly. He's from Philadelphia. I think he was born in Minnesota, but he grew up in Philly. And then, of course, you know, uh, he's been there many times after that. So, yeah, when we went to the National in Atlantic City, we went to Philadelphia. We stopped at a Wawa. It was, it was really cool. <laughs> it's like a, how uh, Nick likes to call it, like a 7-Eleven on steroids. <laughs> that's pretty good I didn't actually get a sandwich from there but just walked in and it was pretty cool I'll definitely have to get something from there this time around right sounds about right are you you live in the Philadelphia area Gavin I don't know if, you, if I asked you this already or if you answered that but if you do that's awesome kind of envy you a little bit I mean, I love living in California, but since I'm a huge Eagles fan, I just want to be in Philadelphia all the time. Travis Kelsey for the Chiefs to 299. That's all cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I live in a suburb around Los Angeles, not too far, but like maybe 15, maybe 12, 13 miles. Dwayne Haskins. To 299, uh, Keelan Farrell. Rob Gronkowski to 50 for the Patriots. Have you guys seen Rob Gronkowski though, guys? I was looking at a photo. I don't know if it was true or not. Have you guys seen it? He hasn't worked out in, I guess, in four or five months or since the Super Bowl, and he's like lost all his muscle. I mean, nothing wrong with that. And I've noticed that when people do retire, you know, they don't really have to uh, maintain having to work out and keep up their, you know, their body fat and stuff like that. So they lose a lot of weight. But it's so kind of different seeing Gronkowski that way because dude was like super yoked. 
Obviously, a lot of linemen end up losing a lot of weight because they make them keep their weight up. But Gronkowski just looks like, I mean, man, is he sick or something? <laughs> you know, it's like it's so different seeing him that way. Jameis Winston. I've seen Joe Joe Thomas. See, Joe, that's that's a different thing. Like, you're more shocked. You're like, whoa, Joe Thomas, because you know, obviously, he was a little, a little chubby, a little heavier on the on that side. But then he turned that fat into muscle, right? And it's just like, whoa. But it's different because like Gronkowski was already ripped, and then all of a sudden he's just like, looks like he's just losing all his muscles as we speak, you know. But yeah, Joe Joe Thomas after he retired was pretty crazy. Just a rookie. That was an autograph. Have we? Have I pulled an autograph out of this already? I like I haven't pulled anything yet. One ninety nine. That's Gary Jennings Jr. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, he fits in perfect for those Wrangler commercials. You know, Brett Favre though is not. Too bad either, man, for his age. <laughs> Byron Murphy for Washington. Uh, that's Cardinals. So I guess I got a tweet that Kawhi Leonard also is done talking to to people today yeah I know that's true they don't age as much right Noah Fant nice two color patch auto Iowa uh, Noah Fant who has who is Noah Fant what do you play for or who do you play for sorry Broncos Noah Fant uh, Broncos Scott Cooper Alrighty, two boxes left, guys. Good luck. And again, after this, I don't have anything else. You guys, we can run back another legacy if you guys want. But there are about a good four or five breaks that if we get a couple people just to buy spots in, we could easily break those uh, breaks that are close. You know, Immaculate's down to four. Soccer, seven left in Cup. Hockey, nine left in the Dallas Mavericks spot random that will obviously unlock Chronicles. Trifecta, I think, is in single digits as well. Like I said, we could run back into the Legacy. So there are definitely some options. Museum collection. I mean, museum is a little bit kind of a little ways to go. Not sure if that will fill tonight. But, again, maybe grab your spots, though, guys, because I'll be back tomorrow. And I'm sure Nick, if he sees that it's still kind of stuck in the 20s, you know, teens, he'll probably do, like, a little spot random, team random as well and take out some teams and fill them up that way. So... You're kind of just not buying into museum because you're kind of waiting until it gets closer. If you don't want to lose a team that you're eyeing on, just go ahead and grab it. Worst case scenario doesn't break with me today or tomorrow. It'll break on like Tuesday with Joe or something. I don't think it'll last that long. And again, this is only what my third, fourth weekend. Probably about barely a month actually. Yeah, barely a month doing uh, website breaks on Sundays and Mondays. So some people still kind of haven't really. Popped in and checked this out on Sundays and Mondays because they kind of used to just Joe Tuesday through Saturday. So that could also be it. So you never know. Maybe tomorrow they pop in like, whoa, spots are moving. I don't mind doing another legacy. Adam Humphreys for the Titans. I know it has a Buccaneer right there, but again, Titans on the back. Walt Garrison. Nice. Look at that. Legends for the Cowboys. Kyle Hoover. There you go. Clippers, Lakers, and Raptors waiting Kawhi's decision. Uh, 
Out of 50, DeAndre Baker. <laughs> oh, man, they're bagging on the Knicks right now. Matt Ryan for the Falcons. I think the Lakers are going to bag either Kawhi or, or D'Lo, though. I don't think... They'll not get one of those two guys. If they don't get Kawhi, they're going to get D'Lo. I think that's pretty much it. And then probably D'Lo will just wait for Kawhi's decision. To 100, Aaron Rodgers. Trey McLaurin. Autograph out of the Ohio State. Trey. Or Terry, so why do I keep on saying Trey? Terry Rets Redskins. Washington Redskins, that'll be Paul. Alright, let's finish up the last stack right here. And then we'll have one more box left. DJ Moore. Uh, Devin Singletary to two ninety nine. That's it right there. Yeah, we had the Hall of Fame autograph in that one, so that is two. Alrighty, last box, everybody. Good luck. Already lost box, everybody. Good luck. Uh, Darrell Henderson, two ninety nine. Chris Carson, autograph. There you go. Seahawks. Scott Cooper. James Conner to 100, Steelers. Noah Fant to 189. You got Gary Jennings Jr. To 100. Devontae Adams. Rob. 
Riley Ridley. Autograph. Riley Ridley, that's Bears. Chicago Bears, that's going to Sergio. All right, guys, it looks like that's going to be the last autograph in this break, so nothing too crazy. I mean, that Daniel Jones was very nice, but no Kyler Murray out of this break, it looks like, at least unless I spoke too soon, but I think that's going to be it. Alex Barnes to 165. Last little stack right here, guys. Adam Thielen to 299. And there you go, guys. That was the break. That was 2019 Panini Legacy Football's a six box half case inner. Sorry, six box inner half case. Half case inner case, though. Break number three. And here you go. Just a little hit recap. Bears hit right here. Riley Ridley. You got Chris Carson for the Redskins. Terry McLaurin. You got a Hall of Fame Legends. Walt Garrison autograph for the Dallas Cowboys. Broncos patch autograph of Noah Fant. Cardinals. Byron Murphy. Colts. Parrish Campbell. 49ers. Nick Bosa. That was very nice. Bengals. Rodney Anderson patch auto. Dolphins, it's just a number card. It's also a number card. Redskins, Montez Sweat. Giants patch autograph of Daniel Jones and Cardinals, Deont uh, Deontay Tompkins. And then, of course, a couple numbered cards here. A ton of them that will be top loaded as well by our shipping team a little bit later tonight. And again, that was number three of Legacy Football. We have number four in the store. Maybe we can get the next one going. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. No randomizer. Oh, actually, yes. One randomizer to do. I almost forgot. We're going to give away some Father's Day packs. So remember? List of customer names. Number one is going to get five Father's Day packs shield, uh, ship sealed to him or her. So dice roller. List randomizer. Get the list of customer names. From Michael to Paul. Paste it. Click dice roll, and we got a three and a three six times. Number one's gonna get those five Father's Day packs. Six times, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and final time. Six times, David Brooms, there you go. At number one, you're gonna get five Father's Day packs shipped, sealed to you. So there you go. There you go, guys. Appreciate it.